Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It is the 29th of January. It is Sunday, 7.21 a.m. Cool. I must have had a pretty solid sativa last night Well, after I woke up. I fell asleep early in the evening around 6 or 7, maybe 8, something like that. Woke up around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Smoked some because, you know, I have to smoke because of chronic pain or I'm going to be bedridden. And then I have been wild and crazy since then. It's been nuts. I have reinstalled Windows 10. Uh, I had to get a USB uh, drive, you know, a flash drive. There, that's the word I was looking for. And uh, download a whole bunch of stuff onto that and then use that to boot from installed Windows 10. That's exhausting enough. But not only I did that, I went and I recorded a half hour's worth of Resident Evil 7. Not only does uh, it run at a rock steady 60 frames per second, but it was face cammed all the way through it. So thumbs up. That's what I needed to do, just reinstall Windows. And now that I know how easy it is, I'm not going to be so afraid of doing it again. Because I had the digital upgrade to Windows 10. I have the solid physical disk for Windows 7 Ultimate. But from there, I was able to upgrade to the digital Windows 10, and I wasn't quite sure how to reinstall using that. Read up on it, done it. It's actually pretty easy, so not a problem. And then, after recording that, I went and took a shower. So, my hair has finally gotten into the uh, state of cleanliness that it should be in. I need to get my testosterone shots to get color back in my hair. Boy, oh boy, I'm turning silver fast. Hokey smokes. I never used to be quite this silver before. Gods above, it's going silver hard right here. I need my testosterone shots fast. Hokey smokes. That gives me color in my hair again. I get color in my beard, color up here. I get color in my body hair. As it is right now, I'm back to being transparent body hair. Uh, after a couple shots, I actually have black body hair. Thumbs up. That's weird. I've, I've never had color in my body hair except when I started taking testosterone shots. Thumbs up for that. But then, not only have I been doing all that, but after I record this, I'm going to walk to the store. Holy smokes! Any one of these things, reinstalling Windows, that's enough to exhaust you. Not physically, no, but your brain uses up 25% of all the energy that you take in. 25% goes to your brain, 75% runs the rest of your body. Thinking is exhausting. So I got Windows 10 done. And then I physically took the shower, physically did all this. I'm physically going to do something else. I've gotten even further in Bloodborne. I've opened up a gate. When you first arrive in Central Yarnum, and you know, you go down the stairs, and you kill this one guy, and then you go across, and you kill two other guys. And then there's another stairwell you can go down the main street in that first beginning area. If you go to the left, there's a big, bulky guy, like 10 feet tall, must be like 700 pounds, carrying an axe that's like as big as a person. I've gotten pretty far. I'm leveled up, but I'm pretty far. I've gotten like five minutes through it. I've opened up a couple doors. That thing just slaughters me no matter what. I can't even get close. So hopefully I'll be able to power up a bit before I have to try and take it on again. Thumbs up on that. Oh, my lower plate is driving me crazy. I forgot to glue it in so it's floppy in my face. Thumbs up for the win. Past that, though, absolutely nothing has been going on in my life. Um, I do have a hamster right here. I'm going to bring him out so you can see him. He's this little boy. He's another one of Mama Squeak's babies. All of my younger ones right now are uh, babies of Mama Squeak. And remember, Mama Squeak was of the previous generation, and she was called Little Squeak herself. Because as a runt, you could hold her up to your ear, and you could hear her click and squeak as she was breathing. She was the runt. There was, She was not physically ready. She was premature for her. But she lived, 
and went on to have babies. And now he is one of her babies. What's this guy's name? I have no idea. I, some of my guys, I just don't have a name for. And I think he's one of them that just doesn't have a name. That doesn't mean I don't like him any less. In fact, he's one of my favorites. We were going to give him to the store. I want to keep him. I like him a lot. He's just an absolute cutie. I just don't have a name for him. What are you? What are your? I think your name starts with an R. It's like Rochard or something. No, I'm gonna call him Rochard or some like, some such. Unless you have a better name, let me know in the comments, because you know otherwise he's gonna be like Rochard, R O C H A R D. He's a good little guy. He's a cutie. Here we go. Here's up close hamster. Up close hamster. He's a cutie. Some of my little guys. Their eyes, they have dark coloration. It looks like they're wearing eyeshadow. And they have like smoky eyes. It looks really cool. Here we go back in your bucket. I have a little hamster bucket right there for now. Everybody's got cages, but it's hard to have a cage right next to me. So I, when I'm just here for a short while, I take them out of the cage, put them into this bucket. And it's not a bucket, not like a small bucket. It's, it's a bin. And I just put the bin next to the chair so I can a tote so that I can get to him. Thumbs up. Just gotta reach down like this. Boop. Now he's a very really active little guy. When I opened up the door to his cage, he was trying to nose my hand out of the way so he could get through and go out and explore. So he's not afraid. In fact, none of my little guys are afraid. They're I've trained them for a uh, hand training since they were safe to touch. It's about three weeks and some, I start carefully making sure I can pick them up. You know, you gotta be careful because you don't want mama to kill them. And if it's safe, then I start getting them ready for hand, hand training and hand taming. And so that when they get this age, they're not scared by the hand. They're, you know, he's got not, not much room to walk on and he's nervous because he's gonna fall, he's scared. But we go like this and he's not so nervous. He's not. He's just nervous because he doesn't want to fall. See? They're absolute sweeties. I love them. There you go, little guy. So, oops. So I've been playing a bunch of other little things here and there, and that's good. So hopefully I'm going to continue recording all those. Especially now that uh, I've got a reinstalled Windows. Two, uh, well, one of my drives already died. Two drives are on the way out which leaves me my main C drive, a new hybrid drive that's inside the case, and new, it came with the whole thing that bought it when it was assembled. And then I have a relatively new external drive that I know in about two or three years I'm gonna to have to replace for the win. Yay. But at eight minutes into this, I'm going to see, ah, I do still have. Now this is gonna be the last good thing because there's bad news a coming. And I will tell you in a moment what that is. For first, right now what I'm doing is I'm hitting show more to load up a couple pages worth on the community page. And the community page on uh, my channel here just lists all the comments from the most recent downward that way, you know, from the most recent back. So I'm going to start right up at the top and thank 20 to 25 people because I don't think human recognition, simple human contact should be a contest. What are you doing, Linda? Should be a contest. So I don't want to do that. I just want to go through and thank people because you are beautiful, wonderful people and you deserve thanks. So I'm putting a hammy now. And now if I mispronounce your name, my sincere apologies. I, I'm not good at names, but I'm trying. So the great punkster, thank you so very much. And if anybody wants, a, a shout out, please let me know. No guarantee that I'll see it, but if you put your name in the con in the comments and I catch it, you will get a guaranteed shout out. So, and Matsu, thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. Luke Spinner, thank you so very much. Now, good comment, bad comment, indifferent comment. I don't know, I don't care right now. I'm just thanking you for leaving the comment. I'm gonna read the comments later. I'm not reading them right now. I'm just thanking you for leaving a comment. YouTube only cares that we're interacting with each other. They don't care if it's positive or negative. They just care that we interact. I prefer positive interaction, but so 
uh, M period, T period. Thank you so very much. And, oh, once again, Clorox bleach. Thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. Mr. Giggity. <laughs> Thank you so very, very much. Fatal Existence. Ooh, I like that name. Pretty scary. And then... Kotu Be Cool? Kotu Be Cool. Okay. Well, thank you so very much for the comment. Greatly appreciated. That was an interesting one. Next Gen Tube. Thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. And Game Reviewer. Son of a Gun. Thank you so very much. Uh, Daniel Plout. P-L-A-U-T. Son of a Gun. Thank you very much. And, ooh, this would be legit OTP, but legit is spelled L-3-G-I-T. Zero TP. But thank you so very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And Jimmy M, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. It's been a while since I've seen you, I believe. But, you know, it's good to see everybody. And Roman Casillas, C-A-S-I-L-L-A-S. Thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate it. Hedgehog Fun. <laughs> I do like that. Thank you so very much. And Blake King. Thank you very much for the comment. Greatly appreciated. Again, it's I'm not reading the comments. I don't know if anyone's left a good comment, a bad comment, or an indifferent comment. Not reading the comments. Just thank you for leaving the comment. And the Gaming Cathedral. Ooh, thank you so very much. Greatly appreciated. Blue-Eyed Devil. Thank you very, very much. And Mexer's Music. Well, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Interesting name. Leilano... Oh, that would just be 20. Melano Medina, thank you so very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And, well, how about that? Michael Robin again. It's so weird seeing my last name on, on another human being. Man. But anyway, it's I imagine people like Smith or Thomas or things like that, you're, you're used to it. But I, I, the only time I've ever seen anyone with my last name was when I was around six years old and my family took a trip to like Wisconsin, I think. And we met my mother's second husband's family in the Wisconsin type area. So that's the only time I've ever seen any other Robins. And now there's a Robin down in Florida and that's weird. It's weird, I just can't get used to it. I'm so weirded out. But thank you very much. And Bonita Maria de Carvalho, I think I might have thank you before but thank you very much again and the papa nope that was three the papa thank you very very much bosmic kong <laughs> thank you very very much for the comment and lord of shadows thank you very very much for the comment greatly greatly appreciated 25 approximately i lose track of things so easily because of my fibromyalgia thumbs up on that but a whole bunch of people thanks for leaving me comments. Thank you so very, very much. It is greatly appreciated. And I like thanking people because you are the reason I'm doing this. I thank you all so much. You saved my life. And I have a massive amount of appreciation for that. After the death of my wife, I'd given up. I was drifting. I was going, I was getting ready to die. I was leaving. I was drifting. I had lost grip on life and I was getting ready to go. But that scared the snot out of me. And I desperately reached for something. Something to get me out of my head, back into the world, and keep me alive. And it was YouTube. And guess what? I'm still here. My wife has been gone for three years. I've had my channel for a little over two. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I am still so grateful to each and every one of you. Each one of my videos is a love letter to YouTube for you having saved my life. Each one of these things on my wall is a piece of my heart. This is stuff that you have all sent to me. It is so awesome. You people out there have shown me more caring, more everything than a lot of family has. So you're actually my family. And that is cool. Very greatly appreciated. Now, I would like to go through and thank people, but I need to uh, remake my list. Uh, when I reinstalled, I lost my list of greetings, so I gotta go through and rewrite them all. Yay! I'm not looking forward to that. I just have to listen to a video, stop, write it down, 
stop, pause, write it down. This is going to be a pain, but I'll get it done. But still, part of it, bom dia, uh, the aguit, the adit, uh, the breed, a high new sale, uh, chest, merhaba, mess hole here. Uh, go forth and have the crack. Good food, good drink, uh, with good friends. Yeah, uh, reinstalling Windows is always a pain. I always lose stuff that I wanted to keep, end up keeping stuff that I wouldn't have mind losing, and generally just, it takes weeks finding stuff that uh, I usually have installed and have to reinstall. Bloody dentures. Ah, hate these things. I need to call up my dentist, make an actual appointment. It's been like six or seven months since I've had these adjusted, and they, we haven't finished, so I need to get them done. Thumbs up on that. Well, I'm going to leave this one at 16 minutes and change. The only thing I was going to say is if you could visit some of the links down there, that would be great. Uh, I've got a hidden GoFundMe, a Patreon.com, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. If you could check all those out, that would be awesome. If you could toss me a like, that would be awesome. I do prefer positive validation for my existence. That is very cool. If you could subscribe, that would be wonderful. Make sure you want to. A pity subscribe will do me no favors, do you no favors, because you'll just unsubscribe in the end, and then uh, what did that help? But if you're ready and down with it, then thumbs up. Glad to have you. Hope to keep you forever and ever. Yeah. So, way cool. You take care. I've got at least one game video coming up today. I've got a no reaction video coming up today. So that's the standard three videos. Tomorrow I'm going to do, I hope, a counting video. Teach you all how to count up to about 100 on the fingers of one hand. So thumbs up on that. So you take care. Have a great day. I and my hamster will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So you take care.